Hello, my beautiful people. How are you? Yes, it has been a hot fucking minute. Um, I am obviously in my car right now filming this. Little crazy, little hectic at my house right now. So, um, a lot of people have been asking for when's my next review. I just saw the new Child's Play movie. So, here I am. And fuck, I got a lot to say about it. All right. All right, where do I begin? Oh. First off, if you haven't seen the movie already, there's going to be spoilers in this. So, you don't want to hear any spoilers. Sorry. Wait and see the movie and then come watch my thing. But, as of right now, like, it's, I'm letting loose. <laughs> All right. Fuck. I'm going to start off with this. It wasn't terrible. I didn't hate it. I give it... Mm, I'm going to give it like a 6 at most, a 6.5. Did it keep me interested? Yes. But here's my shtick. When I first sat there, even before, when I was waiting for the movie to start... <sighs> I had a feeling in the back of my mind, I'm like, how are they going to pull off, you know, in the original Child's Play, you have um, Charles Lee Ray, who possesses and takes over a doll, hence Chucky. I was wondering how they were going to do it with this new film. And I said, what, it's going to be like some rogue kind of robot deal? And my intuition was fucking right, first of all. Uh, the be it's like within two minutes, like some Vietnamese programmer got pissed off and then just decided, you know, fuck this, fuck everybody and programmed this doll to be rogue. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, my thoughts are right on that. I think, honestly, in my opinion, they should have just left. They should have just made this, this whole fucking different movie. Like, should have just call it Buddy. Just make, make it like, you know, some toy doll that you can, like, hook up to, like, your Alexa or whatever. Because, yeah, think about that. That shit's fucking scary. How you can connect your phone to everything in your house. Like, to a car, to your fucking security system in your house, to, you know, controlling the temperature, to locking your doors, to whatever. Like, yeah, and it's, like, in having something like that get basically, like, hacked and go rogue, like, that in itself in this day and age is fucking, you know, it's a scary thing to think about. Yeah. So do I think they should have made it their own thing? Yeah, if they made it their own thing... And just left everything with Child's Play and Chucky and the Barclays just out of it. I would have a little more appreciation for it. But. I mean. I mean even the end. I'm think I'm going to be all over the place with this. Because I literally. I just got done with seeing this movie like maybe a half hour ago. And. <clears throat> I don't, uh, even the end, like, throughout the movie, I'm like, okay, all right, I get it, I understand it, but the ending, they just made it too fucking overdramatic, like, first off, let's talk about Andy's mom basically getting, like, hung and shit, and I'm sorry, but re realistically, if you got fucking hung like that, you'd be dead in, like, a few seconds. Your circulation would be cut the fuck off. The fact she was just hanging there and then out of nowhere, like, a minute or two later, drops. Unrealistic. She'd be fucking dead. Okay? I know this is the movie, but I'm thinking realistically. Um, the fucking cop who has throat slit and out of nowhere, boom, shoots this thing down. Like, no. Like, you just want to make this big, huge ending climax and whatnot. And of course, like every fucking movie nowadays, they always got to leave that little bit at the end for a possibility 
of another movie to another sequel and of course that's what they did and this is one of those things where I sit back I'm like no you definitely should not make another one what this should have been was just as I said earlier some rogue doll rogue robot whatever you call it that just you know like no association, no fucking association with the original Child's Play Chucky franchise. They, I get, like, I kind of went in with a little bit of my hopes high. Because these were from the same guys that produced uh, the new It movie. And that's the thing, like, with It, it was originally a book. And they made it into a movie. And then they... Are made it into a revamped version of it. And that I, with it, I applaud you. They did great. With this, they want to freshen it up or make, like, make it more into nowadays sort of deal. You should have just laughed it because now that, that's a whole franchise you're fucking with. I mean, I don't know, like, should have been something. At the end of the day, should have been something. Leave, leave Brad Dorf and Jennifer Tilly and everybody out of whatever movie this was. I mean, it killed an hour and a half of my time. It was interesting. Would I see it again? Maybe in like five months from now yeah because it was interesting yeah but am i oh my god god got died about it no og chucky for fucking life for life you can't replace the original hands down so with that said <laughs> as i'm done with my rant sorry car got my <laughs> i'm sitting in my garage right now in my car but so that was my review on that. I'm probably going to see, this is what, Saturday? Yeah. I'm probably going to see like 20 other reviews up. Probably going to say the same thing I'm saying. Um, but yeah. Sorry it's been a while again. Um, I'm hoping to see the new Annabelle movie pretty, but it comes out like next week. Yeah, next week. So hopefully I get to go see that soon. Like I have something else on my channel and I know I've been I've been slacking, but you know, life gets in the fucking way sometimes. So with that said, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this. Um and I will hopefully be talking to you guys goo soon. Wow, I can't speak. I'm fucking done. <laughs> um like, comment, follow, share this. Anything will help me. Appreciate feedback. Anything helps. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much.